Hello and welcome to Sellermate.ai's YouTube channel. Whether you're an individual seller or an agency managing multiple clients, we've got the tools you need to succeed. Today, we'll learn about bulk actions, one of our most powerful features and show you how to use it effectively. In bulk action tab, on your left, there are two major categories. One is across all campaigns, where you have data of all the campaigns, targets, search term, add products, placements, and negative targets to select campaigns and bulk optimize them. And the other one is Campaign Manager, where you have ad groups, placements, and campaign settings of individual campaigns. To focus on specific data to take bulk action, we have to filter out campaigns and apply bulk actions to them. Say you have selected six campaigns for now from the given list. Now you can select the campaigns or simply select all and apply the action that you want. Here you can edit status to enable or pause campaigns instantly by simply selecting the action and giving the confirmation. You can also edit budgets to scale up high performing campaigns or reduce spend on underperformers. Simply select the action and decide if you want to do it by percentage, amount, or set it to a fixed amount. It is the same for both increase budget and decrease budget. Now let's take an example. You want to increase budget for campaigns which has ACoS lower than 25 and purchases greater than 10. Now first we will apply those filters. You can similarly apply any filters as per your use case. As this is dummy account, so we don't have such campaigns in this list, but you can apply same steps to add filters as per your use case and then add bulk action on all of them. After applying the filters, you will get the list of good performing campaigns. You can increase their budget by 10%. As you can see, we have successfully increased their budget by 10%. We can also decrease their budget in the same way. Next, we have targets. This is the data for the selected campaigns that you have added in the filter initially. You can apply filters and select one or multiple targets and apply bulk action. You can edit bids individually for each target as you can see it here. You can either update the status like pause targets or enable targets in bulk. Or you can also update the bid of the selected targets to increase or decrease by percentage or amount, or you can set the bid to a fixed amount also. As you can see, we have successfully set the bid to five for selected targets. Now let's take an example. You want to decrease bids for non-performing targets. First, we will add filters like ACoS greater than 100 and spend greater than 20. You can add similar filters as per your use cases. As this is dummy account, so we don't have such targets in this list, but you can apply same steps to add filters as per your use case, and then add bulk action on all of them. Consider these targets as bad performing targets. Now let's reduce their bids to one. We have reduced the bids to one. Similarly, you can try out other ways. Next, we have search terms. Here you will get a list of search terms of your auto and manual campaigns. For example, you can add good performing manual search terms as targets in same campaigns and ad groups. You can apply filters just the way we applied in the case of targets few minutes ago. Select one or multiple search terms and apply bulk action. Now, let's add the selected search terms as a targets in that same campaign. You can only perform this action on manual search terms. No action will apply if you select any other search terms. As you can see, our action is failed as these search terms already exist as a targets in that same campaigns. Now, let's say you want to add good auto search terms as targets in manual campaigns. 
Just filter these auto search terms by adding suitable filters. For the video we added ACOS less than 25. As you can see, we got one good search term, let's add it to manual campaign. First select campaign and ad group where you want to add them. Then you can set current CPC of that search term as a bid or set bid as custom value. For this action we will use current CPC. You can also add adjustment on current CPC. As you can see, we have added the search term as a target in other campaign. You can also add bad performing search terms as negative. First apply suitable filters. Then select all and click add to negative. Next we have a list of ad products. For example, if you want to pause bad performing products, you can apply suitable filters from the column menu and then select them to apply bulk pause in a single click. Next, we can also adjust bid placement percentage of selected campaigns. Note that this list will only show sponsored product campaigns. You can adjust placement percentage individually for each row or do it with bulk action. For example, if you filter out campaigns who worked best for top of search placement, then you can increase their placement percent by 5% points. As you can see, the placement percentage has increased by 5 points. Similarly, you can try out decrease and set bid percentage on your own. Next, we have a list of negative targets from the campaigns that you selected initially. You can see negative keywords and products separately in different tabs. For now, you can just archive them. In our next update, you'll be provided with more advanced actions like adding them in multiple campaigns. Also, we will bring more actions like changing bidding strategy, bulk ad targets in multiple campaigns, bulk ad search terms as negative in other campaigns, etc. Our expert team is always here to assist you at support at Sellermate.ai. Haven't tried Sellermate.ai yet? Start your free trial today. Thank you for watching and happy selling. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Sellermate.ai.